My name is Tyler Ford, and I'm a gynecologic oncologist. I've been working in oncology for approximately seven years. Um, I have been here for four years uh, working with the Sarah Cannon Cancer Institute. I think that all of us go into healthcare because we have a desire to serve or help people. I think more specifically, during my training in medicine, I was drawn to oncology because it is unique um, when we think about just generally helping people. There's never a time, I think, that in someone's life where they need more help than after a diagnosis of cancer. The unique opportunity that we have uh, to be a partnership with Sarah Cannon Cancer Institute uh, has really allowed us to be able to uh, bring together in one specific location or one specific community a group of providers which treat oncology from both diagnosis to treatment as well as and importantly supportive uh, care services. And that includes both the physician um, as well as nurse navigators which uh, directly interact with our patients helping to guide and to instruct and to teach um, from the time of diagnosis all the way to the time of um, supportive care services. The most significant advances over the last several years in uh, gynecologic oncology have been on several fronts, both surgically as well as medically speaking or within the realm of chemotherapy. We've known for years about specific genetic mutations which have increased uh, the risks or the rate of cancer in some people. Over the last one to two years, uh, specifically, we've been able to use that information in developing new chemotherapy medications which have overall improved significantly uh, response rates to chemotherapy and improved survival. One of the greatest advancements over the last several years uh, within the treatment of gynecologic cancer has been the addition of robotic surgery, which has allowed us to be able to treat uh, specific gynecologic cancers in a minimally invasive manner. What this really provides for our patients is not only improved diagnostics, but improved surgical outcomes, which ultimately means a shorter length of stay within the hospital and a faster recovery and return to normal life. When I think about the years that I've been treating uh, oncology patients and I think about all the experiences I have, I could not pull out one specific event or one specific memorable experience. And really, it's a matter of a collection of multiple um, experiences that I have on a day-to-day -day basis.